My love is everlasting. Ever, ever. Everlasting to everlasting. Ever, oh, ever. Girl, you make me upgrade my tactics. Oh, how long? Oh, how long are we going at this? How long are we going at this? Yeah. Rock it up, uh, fuck it up. Uh, Your figure exceptional. Uh, what you're working on, fuck it up. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Okay, so I'm ripping a banger a new exclusivity, you will definitely be notified. So, I've been hearing people say Joshua is back, AJ is back. <laughs> I love you, Vietnamese. <laughs> Listen, Joshua is not back yet. He's not back. It's just warming up. And I will explain why. I used to think Joshua is back. I remember making the video when Joshua demolished or demolished um, Otto Wallen. I was like, yeah, Joshua is back. The whole Joshua is back. The whole Joshua is back. But having thought it through and having analyzed the whole situation from the beginning and I, I had to analyze it from way back, going back to the Klitschko fight. I had to also think about how before Klitschko fight, basically, when he fought Charles Martin, I was just looking at the styles of Joshua, the style back then, the style at the era where, at the time where his career went downwards because of losses to Andres Jr. and to Uzi and stuff like that. The time he started climbing back up. Let me tell you one thing right here: Joshua has now been back. Is warming up. When Joshua is back, I mean back, no one, no one born of his mother can be Joshua. Facts. That's, I'm telling you right now because you have to go, if you want, if, for you to really understand what I'm saying right now, go watch Joshua pro debut fight. Watch all fights from his pro debut when he fought Charles Martin okay then from Charles Martin to Dominic Brazil watched it you know watch it him defending his belt as it was, it was the high BF champion then watch the Klitschko fight carefully watch it carefully you're gonna see something very interesting about Joshua how he began he began to change his style how the people started criticizing him, saying his defense is, is not good enough. He himself knew his defense wasn't good enough. When he fought Charles Martin, although he took Charles Martin out, when he fought um, Dillian White, he took White out. But in the second, second or third round, he got wobbled by White. Now, we'll go look at how he evolved as a fighter. And then taking losses, you know, when he fought Parker, the fight, he, was, he didn't fight as himself. He fight uh, being scared of getting hit. And that came from the Klitschko. So basically, Joshua rebuilt as being for a long time. It's just that he wasn't, he, like he wasn't, like he didn't know how to put the pieces together. So he had to go through all this time, all this fights all this disappointment all this like basically the things he had to go through for him to put all the pieces together you know the art of defense is getting at is getting even even to a hundred percent right now it's around 70 percent still the heart is heart of defense the offense has always been there but it, the, Joshua's offense has never been this refined. I will say this: if it was the old Joshua that dropped Ngano in the first round, he would have jumped on him right away. But 
though the new Joshua com in, com in combination with the new Joshua was reserved. Remember when he hurt Ruiz in the first fight, he dropped Ruiz, he jumped on Ruiz, thinking Ruiz was food. That's the whole Joshua coming back. Let me jump on this guy. Let me do something. But what happened was Ruiz caught him. So if it was, if it, it was the new Joshua combination in, com in combination with the old Joshua right now, the new old Joshua together. Let's say the new old Joshua fights Ruiz now. He will drop Ruiz again. Definitely will. Ruiz is there to be here. Rui, Joshua's jab is one of the most solid. Listen, Joshua's jab is one of the most solid in the history of boxing. Okay, Joshua has one of the best solid jabs in the history of boxing. His right hand is like amazing. You can't even like you can't even the way Joshua throws his right hand. You can't compare it to any other boxer right now. He throws it with um a hammer. You know. No matter how strong your chin is, as the way you try to throw his right hand, you don't you 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 think it's a jab, but it's, it's a right hand. But it's coming, it's coming thick, it's coming fast, and it's coming with some sort of ferocity. It just takes you out of your rhythm immediately. The way he took Ngano out, you get what I'm saying right now. So this is our new whole Joshua combined together, but he had to be this way. Because if Joshua didn't have all those losses and all those disappointing fights that he had, the ones he felt they didn't do well and he didn't switch his mind because the mindset is very important. Joshua's mindset was at the beginning to kill or get killed. At the point, you know, he wanted to kill his, uh, you know, his prey, but he got killed by uh, uh, Ruiz. Then he had to come back to life and then reclaim that throne, but didn't gain the respect. So he had to keep building and building and building and building, but he was still finding himself, finding something. There was something missing. He was still trying to piece the piece everything together, but he wasn't connecting. And now he's beginning to connect. That's why you see these performances where you see Joshua Ngano, the whole Joshua would have gone all wall out against Ngano and probably lose that fight. Facts. Because the whole Joshua only wanted to kill or get killed. But a new Joshua wants to kill. And even if you want, even, even if he wants to kill, but well, will prevent you, will prevent yourself from getting killed in the process of him killing you. And that's what he did to Ngano. If you think I'm lying, go watch his first pro debut fight. Watch his style. Watch his mindset. Watch the way he, the ring workout. Watch every watch every move he makes in the ring, and then come to the to the Ngano fight and see how. Listen, Ngano fight was just like a bonus. Watch the Otto Wallin fight. Also, Joshua used to have Joshua usually have problems with short short fighters, and if jo if the whole Joshua fought, um. Otto Wallen, for example, he would lose that fight. He would have lost that fight. Facts. I'm just telling you right now, I'm not listening. He would have lost that fight. If the old Joshua fought Otto Wallen, he loses that fight. Facts. But the combination of the old and the new Joshua fought Otto Wallen, that took Otto Wallen off his usual rhythm. Otto Wallen was. On a winning streak, Otto Wallin gave Fury hell. He caught Fury up. He's the first man to cut Fury up in the ring, battered Fury all over. That's why Otto Wallin had all this confidence. And he thought he was going to be fighting the whole Joshua because the whole Joshua had problems with short, short fighters. Remember when he fought Joseph Parker the first time? Joseph Parker shot on the name. He, didn't, he, had, he had problems. Remember when he fought uh, the Ruiz Genium? Problems there. Povetkin, he had problems early on. Usyk also had problems. So, Joshua now, the, because the whole Joshua only fought big guys. Guys at least ab ab about his, his, his height. You know what I mean? Like, 
and he only fought them so he like he knew how to deal with those people but the new Joshua had to come into play to fix the old to give the old Joshua some sort of technique to be able to fix itself and then connect now it became in it came in they came they both came into a magnetic form the old Joshua is here the new Joshua is here both are magnet but they need to come together both used to be very separate there was something between the lines holding them apart and by the time they came together then Joshua became a refined fighter but the whole Joshua is not back yet it's a combination of the new and old Joshua so that's why when people say Joshua is back the whole Joshua is back now nah. the whole Joshua has always been there but he needed the, the new Joshua to come into play to connect with him that is why you see Joshua demolishing guys right now and his next fight he's gonna also demolish it demolish the person or at point here the person or break the person down anything can happen I like the fact that Joshua fight you don't know if he's knockout uh, points or stoppage or brutal brutal demolition job you don't know that is good because that makes it more interesting because the whole Joshua with new the whole show will go for knockout knockout knockouts only that's what Joshua did the whole Joshua went for knockouts only while the new Joshua can knock you out cannot box you can break you down cannot work you can just use a jab to beat you if need be can give you boring fight if he wants to depending on opposition so the old Joshua the old new Joshua the combination of both they can basically they are like it's a it's like they are chameleon they can change color when need be and that's why you guys need was what you guys need to know i'm happy bro this victory right here is huge for boxing is huge for joshua don't let anybody tell you ngano is yeah you're just an ufc fighter hell no ngano is still a dangerous man ngano is still one of the baddest man the, if not the baddest man on the planet uh, if you want to confirm that get in the cage with this guy you will know you will see a different beast boxing is such a different sport that you cannot just jump into boxing and become great at it you have to master the heart of the science the science of boxing that's why it's called the sweet science there are techniques to boxing that some people don't acknowledge boxing is all about just punching and stuff no that's why you see Floyd Mayweather even though is a piece of shit even though I'm not a big fan of him but when it comes to fighting boxing when it comes to boxing he's a he's a maestro of them all fat because he's got it he's got everything on lock Sorry for the use of word, but it's facts. Stay tuned, guys. God bless you, for support your channel. And now, yeah, like I said, I'll be more active. And here I am. God bless you. How long are we going at this? Yeah, rock it up, fuck it up. Your figure exceptional, what you're working on? Fuck it up. We want to see some more girl. I say, fuck it up. Fuck it up.